What makes wine special? Is it the grapes? Is it the winemaking fermentation process? Is it the people behind the wine? Here at Novellino, we don't concern ourselves so much with the question of what. We concern ourselves with the question of why. I've always felt that the Filipinos have to have their own wine because most countries in the world or most regions in the world have really their own wines. I mean, if you go to uh, Italy, you hardly find French wines and you go to France, same thing, no Italian wines. And so I thought, if that's the case with wines, there's a regionality about wines. The Philippines probably needs their own wine. And that's how it started. So even a friend of mine, you know, a very successful businessman, I approached him even asked for his input. Are you crazy? You go into wine business? So I did it anyway. For hundreds of years, has been regarded as something that's aspirational, right? Something that's, that makes an occasion special, for example. And we just happened to see that kind of gap between the consumption of wine in the Philippines, which was low, and the high aspiration for wine. So we're trying to bridge that gap. Put aside the doubts and make the faith and the passion work harder than the doubts. And so I guess by doing that, we just kept on going. And as we kept on going, the results got looking better and better and better until we came to a point that we're saying, hey, we were right in the first place about what we're trying to do here. We measure our success by conversion of people from non-wine drinking to wine drinking. It's almost like a missionary job, you know. Again, the vision is to deliver the kind of wine that Filipinos would aspire to. From the very beginning, our concept was to overdo it. It's much more efficient to overbuild than to just build at the right level and have to expand later on. So we can go maybe three, four times the market demand and still be able to service that level of business. If you come to the winery, you really have a new found appreciation for our product because you see the love that we have in making our product. Everything is standardized in the way we make our wines. The process itself, which is a very tedious, complicated and high-tech kind of a process, from fermentation all the way to bottling, every step of the way, there's controls to make sure that the quality is good. So that's how much love goes into making our product. And everyone has to agree that like this is Novellino, this tastes right. So we're very proud of that. We're just committed to giving a product of high quality. The companies that know why they do what they do are typically the ones that become the most successful. People don't buy what you make, they buy why you make it. And we exist as a company. Our why is to fulfill unfulfilled aspirations. We crafted our wines for the Philippine palate and for the Philippine people. The biggest reason why they actually buy wine is to celebrate. That's really the ultimate finding fulfillment in what we were trying to achieve. Somebody actually drinking it. We will continue providing them the wine that they aspire to, the wine that they can actually relate to, and wine that they can call their very own. Novellino right now is primarily only available in what's called off-premise accounts. These are like supermarkets, convenience stores, uh, everywhere. But you don't really see Novellino on the trade this much. If our objective is to fulfill aspirations, right, how do we also make it affordable? And one way of doing that is putting it in kegs. Since we're the only winery in the Philippines, we're the only ones that can do this, we can essentially put our wine straight from the fermentation tanks, from the filling station, into kegs, and then serving at a more affordable price point. In business, my dad and I say that comfort zone is the danger zone. You always have to have this thing that's ahead of you that is it's so heavy and so big, and it, and it seems impossible but you always work your way towards getting it. 20 years means a lot learned, a lot to learn, and a lot to look forward to. It's really a very important milestone in the company's history. It doesn't stop there, obviously. To a great extent, it has pulled our family together because it was an endeavor that we all shared. And beyond that, we are seeing succession. Our family 
I see it the same way. I mean, this is going to be a family business that will be passed on to my kids and my brother's kids and their kids and their kids. We really believe that. So it means just the beginning, I guess. We know that we can't do that by ourselves. We need to have really good people and, of course, the blessing of God for us to go up against all these Goliaths. That's what I say. It's like David versus multiple Goliaths, but we're still able to take more and more market share despite more and more brands coming into the Philippines. So what does that say about the market? That Filipinos really like Novellino. They really like a product that's made for them. So there's a lot of parties involved in this entire thing. Us as manufacturers, it's not just our family, it's the people that have joined our family to make this a wine of choice by the Filipinos. We couldn't do any of this. We couldn't fulfill any aspirations. We wouldn't have this beautiful company if it weren't for the people uh, behind it. But on top of that, we get a lot of help from our distributors, from all these other stakeholders that we work with. It's an incredible opportunity for us to do that, and we know we couldn't do it without you. So thank you so much for your help.